Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm renovating the starter home into a modern house. So I've seen so many YouTubers doing this, including me. So I just thought it'd be so much fun to add a modern twist to the starter house. So let's just jump straight into this. So if you've ever watched my renovations before, you'll know I normally keep the layout of every room the same. But because this is a modern house, I want it to be open plan. So I'm gonna take down the interior walls, but I'm gonna leave the outside exactly the same shape. Then I'm gonna just get rid of pretty much everything in here and guys the starter house is actually pretty big when you like tear all the walls down but anyway first things first I'm gonna get rid of this mismatched flooring and let's replace it with a more modern look so I think these planks look pretty modern to be honest I think maybe adding a wallpaper will help we also need to color the outside so I'm thinking maybe plain white there and then maybe like gray there oh my gosh I just don't know yet guys I think what's throwing me off is the roof and the window so let's get rid of these they look like they're from the 1900s or something and now let's play around with the roofs so I'm thinking I definitely want like a cool slanted roof at the front maybe something like that then maybe we could do like a flat suburban roof like that and now I think we should start with the windows so I'm a massive fan of these windows on my modern houses so I think maybe three along each side let's look up what kind of doors are modern we could go full old school and use this one and maybe if we make it the same color as these walls it can make like a nice match up and by the way I'm getting rid of this path and this welcome mat you're not welcome into my start home okay guys I've done the roof but this bit here I'm not gonna lie is really annoying me so maybe if I add an extra roof there then we can get rid of the old one then if I add this roof back in oh my gosh yes that looks so much better to me I'm gonna add the rest of the windows around the side quickly. And do you know what guys, I'm actually gonna resize these windows at the front and have them like next to each other. And I always normally just jump straight inside and I never ever appreciate the outside of a house guys. So I'm gonna give it a nice stone path leading up to it. Then along the front, I wanna add some bushes and we should probably get this trash can out of the way. And if we get some trees, then we can actually resize these. And we can have a few trees about, you know. Then the rest can just be like these floor plants. And I think the green in the plants clashes with the green on the floor. So I'm actually going to change this grass to a brown colour. And as you can see, I think that looks a little bit nicer. The last thing I want to do on the outside is not add a toilet. Is actually add some light on the walls. And there we go. Now we can jump inside. So I'm thinking we should have the bathroom here and then the bedroom here. I think that makes perfect sense to me. Then we've got enough space out here for like a kitchen, a dining room and a living room. And it's all going to be open planned. So first things first, let's get some wall trims up in here, guys. We don't want these walls looking basic. Then we need to actually work out which doors are going to go into the bedroom. And I've used these once before and I absolutely love them. The only thing is I like to change them from black to grey. And oh my gosh, they look so cool and realistic and then honestly guys I think we should just have the bathroom connected to the bedroom to like avoid wasting space over here with a door and honestly guys I just want to start straight on the kitchen because kitchens are my favorite part of builds I want to definitely make sure we have room for an island because that is something that the starter house never has had and it definitely needs and then along this back wall we will have some counters then I'm gonna go into cabinets and get a massive unit for the fridge and guys who says you can't make a good kitchen in such a small space this already looks so cute and we haven't even colored anything and then where's my favorite oven here it is we will add this in here if we can and oh my gosh this looks so cute and yeah there's perfect space for a microwave then before I forget people always tell me to put dishwashers in my kitchen so I'll put one in there and also something I always forget which I've been remembering a bit more recently is sinks so I'll also put a sink in my kitchen I might have it on my island actually that's quite modern isn't it and then I'm feeling like going classy modern so having like black and gold and then maybe like gray appliances oh my gosh what's happened to this sink there we go oh my gosh i like that then i've just added a little bit of marble on this wall and you know what we might as well add windows all along it and i think that looks quite nice actually in itself okay so we have this massive space here and i already know what i'm gonna add there i think you guys might too i'm gonna add these saucepans that actually hang off the wall and then this also gives us an opportunity just to put down all the random stuff you have in kitchens for example this spice rack which actually looks so cool we need our blender guys blender is just the number one thing and then second place is coffee machine but fun fact guys i actually don't drink coffee or even really like it but i love coffee cake does anyone else have that <laughs> anyway let's cut 
colour all of this grey and gold. The only thing that's like annoying me a bit is that there's nothing in here. So do you think that we could like put plates inside of them? It might be pretty tricky, but if we like zoom, oh my gosh, you actually can. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's on it's on top. Wait, that was a fail. Oh my gosh, guys, the dedication right now. I can't tell if this is going inside or not. Oh my gosh, it is, it is. And I'm not doing that again, so I'm just gonna copy and paste this over. And now we need to do the stools. So I was thinking maybe these ones for the modern house. And it's good that there's four seats because I don't actually think we have space for a dining room. Anyway, we're going to put this painting here. And then also we can get rid of this light. And I'm going to put some pendants hanging over the island. And honestly, guys, I think that is the kitchen done. So next up, we have the living room. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get a TV stand. And this one is like the most modern thing going. I definitely want this big TV though, because sorry, in the starter house, guys, what is the point in adding this? What is it? You can't watch anything on that tiny screen. Then chair wise, I think these ones look really, really sleek. And then I actually think there's even room for like an armchair over here. And oh my gosh, I was worried that there wouldn't really be space for the living room, but there is plenty of space around here. Then maybe this coffee table, although I don't know if I'm loving that color. You know what, actually, it's okay. And then I'm gonna use these end table. And oh my gosh, guys, since when have these been in the game? Anyway, on top of this, we're gonna plop a little modern lamp. Then also we could do with some floor lamps in here. And this one is just the absolute king of modern. That looks quite nice, I think. And this space here is just calling out for a bookshelf, guys. You know when a place just needs a bookshelf. And I know this isn't really that modern. But I'm sure we can make it modern. Look at this. That looks modern already. Then we'll colour these books some dark colours. And then of course I've left room for some plants. Because it wouldn't be a bookshelf made by Reese's without a plant. And I like it so much. I think I might actually put one over here as well. And oh my gosh, how full up does this space look already i'm loving it i'm gonna put a mirror on this wall because it's looking a little bit plain and now we have this big empty space so i'm not actually sure what to do with this maybe we could make like a small dining area over here so i think we're definitely gonna have to use a round table then i think it would just make sense to use the same chairs that we used earlier then if you ever want your table to look less boring, guys, just turn it round a little bit and it automatically looks way better. And I'm actually going to add a carpet underneath that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Then over here, I'm making another bookshelf, but one that sort of fits the dining room theme of like food and stuff. So we can also add like some dishes in here. Then I don't know why, I must have forgotten to put windows along this wall. So I might just stretch this out and have a massive window. <gasps> that looks cool. Then this leaves us room for a hat stand. So I'm going to use this twig hat stand. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that one before. And we should probably add some coat hooks as well. And also, do you know what the original starter house lacks? It lacks plants. Let's get some big ones up in here, guys. And then I know I said earlier I don't like welcome mats, but I'm gonna add just this plain mat so you can like not get mud on the floor. And that is honestly the main area done. So now we have the bedroom and bathroom. And I think I'm gonna add this huge window into the bathroom and then maybe a huge one into the bedroom as well, actually. And I'm gonna start with the bathroom. I've been doing this more lately. It's just more fun. So first of all, let's look up the sinks and maybe we can put it in the corner. Then next to it, we can have our toilet. And I feel like going for maybe like a darker vibe for this bathroom. So let's give it some like nice gray tiles. Anyway, let's go into towels and whip some towels out. We'll put some down there. Also toilet paper guys, because what will we do without this? The world would be a very messy place. Oh, that was disgusting. I'm so sorry. Anyway, let's go into mirrors. The only thing is the sink isn't really facing it. So maybe we should put the sink just normally. We we're trying to be stylish guys sometimes it just doesn't work out and that's sort of like the essentials and we're gonna get this modern shower and oh my gosh it sort of fits perfectly all of this along that wall and now these windows don't really like fit so i'm gonna actually make this smaller then i'm gonna add a mat getting into the shower and honestly there's not much room for anything else in here so i'm gonna add a light and that's the bathroom done and honestly i think it's got as much stuff in it as i could possibly put anyway for the bedroom i'm gonna paint the walls a little bit lighter then we're gonna go into beds and i'm gonna see which bed gets me <gasps> this one. So I've given it some texture, but those pillows look awful. So we're going to sort them out right now. And I realize now you can't even see the headboard, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Then along this back wall, I'm going to add like a shelving unit. I'm sorry, guys, I can't resist. And we've just got to have some LEDs in here, haven't we? Hopefully if they ever redo the starter house, they will add these modern lights in. Anyway, the perfect thing to put up here, I think, is just some classical reading books. 
looks. Oh, that actually looks really aesthetic, doesn't it? Then here's their bedside table. And now over here, we have sort of a space for a closet, but never fear for this big gap because we're gonna add a floor to ceiling mirror in here, guys. Then over here, I think we should have their desk. And I haven't used this since literally like 2019, no joke. And I've got to use the gaming chair. Then if we go into electronics, then we can get the most expensive computer. I always do this. And the start house needs an upgrade, guys. That is the whole point of this video after all. And you know what, guys? Let's give them a dual monitor over here. Then we'll put a painting there. And that, guys, is the new modern renovated starter house completed. So before we go in, this build came to almost $100,000. Anyway, let's go straight inside. So as soon as you walk in, you are met with this dining room table. It's very basic, very classic. Then you turn around and because it's all open plan, you are met with just the whole house. So here we have the living room. You can turn on the TV if you want. There's actually room for five people in this house. So it really is a family home. And if we move over here, we have the gorgeous kitchen, which I'm sorry, this is like one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. We have these lovely stools. So again, enough room for the whole family and a beautiful window over the front garden. In here, we have a bit more of a private space. We have the bedroom. So we have our big bed in here with our wardrobe and our desk. If you need the toilet, that's perfect because the bathroom is just through here, which actually catches the sun perfectly while you're doing your business. But yeah, I'm so happy with the outcome of this build. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this and I'll see you all next time.